Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing the reports based upon the new syntax. And in the previous video, I explained if we do not want to overwrite the existing data, then in that case, we need to use base with the value expression. Previously, we passed the data to work area. Then from work area, we are passing it to internal table using append. Now we are completely, we are not going for old syntaxes at all. Now in the value expression itself, if you have base, the previous data will remain as it is. The previous data, whatever the internal table you are specifying, it will act as the initial data for the target internal table and new data will go after that. Now we will understand in the debugging mode how this logic is working so that it will give you more clarity. Anyways, I added a dedicated video after the value expression. So you can listen that video first. I'm running the program. Suppose I will go for 20th August to 21st August. Executing the report. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So this internal table has four records. 71, 72, 73 and 117. Firstly, first record will go to work area. So in this work area, we have the sales order number 72. It will check into this internal table. Do we have record of 72? Yes, we have the record of 72. So this first record from this internal table, LTVBAP, will go to this work area. Now in this work area, we have the 72. The 72 sales order number. Now, now it will check into this internal table for material number 42. We do we have 42 material number? Yes, we have 42 material number. You all know line exists always avoid the runtime error. Now in this work area, we have the material number 42. Now, now we are passing everything to this output internal table. Just see this output internal table, zero records. Now we have one record into internal table. Done, we are clearing the work area. Now loop will continue, this inner loop. Now we have this inner loop. In this inner loop, do you have any further record of 72? There is no further record. But system will process this, but if condition is failed, where condition is failed, so now system will move on to the outer. Now we have the outer. Now you can see we have the outer. Now second record, second record will go to this work area. You can see in this work area we have 71 now. Now the important part will come. It will check into this internal table. Do you have 71? Yes, we have 71. So this record move to work area. In this work area, you have the 71. Now, it will check into this internal table. Do you have material number 42? Yes, we have material number 42. Done. So, we have this 42. Now, you can see in this LT underscore output, this we specified LT underscore output after base, after base. It means this record, this record will act as the initial value for the target internal table. What is your target internal table? LT underscore output. And this new record, what is the new record? New record is for 71, 71 sales order number. So it will append after that, after that. Now, whenever I will do F6, have you seen? We have two records into the internal table. So this is the main, main advantage. Previously, what happened when we have not used the base, this 71 to replaced by 71. That's why we put to the work area. From work area, we put it to the internal table. Now we have a solution here itself. 
you can use the base in the value expression and the new record will be inserted after that because whatever you are specifying after base it will act as the initial value now loop will go for this third there is no further record now we have the third record for the third record 73 done done now you can see now again important point if some confusion is there this base lt underscore output now these two records will act as the initial value for the target internal table so firstly these two records will go to our target internal table and after that system will go for the new record now you can see we have three records do not confuse with the same name that's not an issue at all whatever you are specifying that will firstly go to target internal table and after that new record will go now we have the third record in the output internal table now you all know in the previous video i told you when this fourth 117 117 is in your header table but it is not in the item table so in this case this logic will execute and again it will append that data so these three records will remain will go to target internal table you can see if i will show you lt underscore output now okay now we will just go for next now loop will come for fourth iteration now we have the fourth iteration so now the fourth iteration previous i3 was the third iteration only now we have the fourth iteration if you see the vbeln you can see it is 117 117 is not in VBAP. It's not in VBAP. So this loop will not execute. Now, this flag is blank. I already explained this whole concept of flag. Now you can see this three records, these three records will act as the initial value for the target internal table. Now, whenever I will do F6, now you can see we have four records into the internal table and this is what we want so we got the same to same result same thing we did in the third program also so that will also give us the same to same output so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i showed you everything in the debugging mode i put stress there Whenever you are using internal table after base, whatever the internal table you are specifying, that will act as the initial values for the target internal table. An important point from the interview perspective. So just you can see now, now in this whole, whatever the programs we develop, we use the inline data declaration. Yes, after that, we simply, simply use the table expression we used the value expression, value expression with base also now we covered. Yes, now whenever you are writing the open SQL query, we use the new features. So we combined all these things and developed the report. So that's it in this video. Thank you.